Uh, hey guys, Rayful Phone Arena here, live at uh, Samsung's Galaxy S3 launch event here in London. And I'm currently uh, doing a quick benchmark session here with the Galaxy S3. So that was Quadrant Standard, and let's see what we got 5,324 points. That's pretty good. As you can see, it outscores uh, every other device here. Now, next up, I'll launch Nano Mark II, which is more of a graphically oriented benchmark. And see how it scores here. Bear in mind that these may not be really uh, completely final units, so uh, the results that you may get with the real retail one may differ a bit. Although what we're seeing here is quite spectacular to say the least. And let's see what we get in Nanomar. Close to uh, 60 FPS on the average. Again, a really, really great result. And finally, I won't run a more uh, system-wide benchmark and 2-2. Let's see what we get here with the Galaxy S3. The device uh, that I'm testing here is equipped with a, a 1.4 GHz quad-core processor. It's an Exynos processor. You just have to wait a little while in order to get the results here and see if the Galaxy S2 will surprise us in any way. And we sure hope it will. Meanwhile, I'll just run through a quick uh, overview of the, of the specs of the device. The Galaxy S3, as you know, has a new uh, 4.8 inch uh, Super HD Super AMOLED screen. It's uh, it looks uh, really great. It has great viewing angles, very nicely, nice and vivid colors. Um, on it. It has an 8 megapixel camera on the back with the 1.9 megapixel camera on the front which and both cameras actually allow you to shoot HD video, full HD um, uh, video. It also comes with a bunch of new uh, features and technologies like um, S, uh, like uh, S Voice, S Beam, Pop Up Play. You can learn uh, all about this at uh, phonearena.com. We have various articles there explaining what all of these do. Uh, of course, Samsung's uh, hubs are also present here. You know, the music hub, uh, movie hub, and so on. Bluetooth for Wi Fi. Uh, Wi-Fi Direct. On the software side of things, it has TouchOS, uh, the good old TouchOS UX, with some uh, modifications made to it. But uh, if you've liked uh, TouchOS so far, you'll like what you see on the Galaxy S3. If you didn't like it, uh, chances are you won't be a fan of the software experience here. We're now doing a test on the SD card to read speed. And we're close to finishing with this benchmark session here. All right, 11,492 um, points. It's probably uh, the, the best result, I think, that we've gotten with, with the smartphone on the end to do this. So overall, it shows that it's a great performer. This new quad-core Exynos chipset allows for a very, very fluid functionality of the device as well as spectacular scores on the benchmarks. Check out phonearena.com if you'd like to learn more about the Galaxy S3, guys.